400 to go as they go through 1100 in 308.81. Well, this is where it all happens, and I'd say we've lost uh, the chance of Daphne Stevens going through into the final. It's just been a little bit too hot for her to pace. And it's hotting up now as they go round the bend into the back straight for the final time. Yes, Def Daphne only has a personal best time of about 4.20, so it's really pushing it along for her. I'm surprised that Diane Roger isn't staying in there, though. And the Kenyan lass who's been causing all the problems all the way through the race, she's still hanging in there. Well, the race really on. Pitch of Canada up on the outside of Dainty making a move as Locke, who we haven't seen in the early stages, the Welsh runner in the all red, she goes around them and will probably dash to the front as they go onto the bend. Locke leads, Dainty second, Pitch third, and now a move from the Kenyan, Chep Churcher, who's in fourth position, and it looks as if these four should qualify. There's a little bit of a break back to uh, the New Zealand runner, Roger, but a strong run by Kim Locke of Wales as she dashes to the front in the straight after sitting back on the pace in the early stages. Dainty lying second, Pitch is third, and those three doing it pretty strongly down to the line with Chep Churcher taking fourth position, Roger fifth. Out of the straight for the last time with about 350 metres to go and Boxer of England leads the field. Murray second, Muller third, Pilling fourth. Pick up now and Boxer looking nice and strong out in front. Muller moves up into second position and Pilling who led the field through the first lap Moves up to her shoulder to be equal second. Then it's Bank of Wales, Gendron of Canada lying sixth. They've got 200 metres to go, and Boxer really doing it. Muller, then Hollick. Murray of Scotland starting to uh, pick it up a bit again now to try and tack on. Into the straight now for the last time, about 100 to go. Boxer in front of Muller and Hollick. She's got about 50 metres to go, and she has killed them in this second semi-final. She's going to be really hard to beat in the final. Chris Boxer of England down on the line wins it. Muller of New Zealand second. Pollock of Wales third, Pilling of England fourth. Those four into the final. The stands are jam-packed for the final six track events, the men's and women's 1,500 metres and the four relays. And away they go. Starting over at the 300 uh, metre mark, they go round to the finish line and then run three complete laps and Boxer, the favourite for the event, immediately goes to the front with Hollick of Wales. Lock of Wales, rather, moves up on her inside. So Boxer and Locke, who won the two semi-finals yesterday, settle down in front, run it, having run about uh, 120 metres in the women's 1500. And also the Canadian, Jerry Fitch, moves up three wide. So three of them in line. From the inside, it's the Welsh girl, Locke, Boxer the favourite, Fitch and Moller of New Zealand coming up on the outside as they come into the home straight for the first time. Having run about 250, when they come down to the line, they'll have uh, 1,200 metres to run. Moller the outside, Boxer the middle, Lock of Wales on the inside, Chep Churcher up on the outside, and also tucked away in fourth or fifth placing is uh, Hollick of Wales. As they go through 300 metres in 50.47 seconds. 50.47 is not fast. It's going to be a tactical run, this particular run. But uh, we forgot to mention the, girl, the Welsh girl, Kim Lock, uh, number 680 in the lead at the moment. She's also got a very good chance in this run. Lock with Boxer up at her shoulder, Muller at Boxer's shoulder, and tucked away in fourth position is Hollick of Wales, Chep Churchill lying fifth. Up on the inside, one of the three English girls in the race, Gillian Dainty. There's a head-on shot as they're halfway down the back straight for the second time in the event. Just over a thousand metres to go. Christine Boxer, the favourite. Moller up on the outside from New Zealand. Chep Churchill moving forward, lying third. And lock, and a move around the outside now coming from Dainty of England, is it? the bend coming into the home straight for the second time boxer moller on the outside chef church are moving up into third position bit of jostling in there going on but still a very tightly packed field it is a tightly packed field and even the person right at the very back of the field at the moment could unleash a sprint if they stay this close and win the race and they're just coming up now with two laps to go and the lap time 110 into the third lap now and moller of new zealand 3,000 metre runner, takes over as pacemaker, out of the home straight, bit of pace on. Chep Churcher moves up into second position, tangles there with Boxer, and Boxer decides to keep out of harm's way by moving to the outside, and pace on now as they go into the back straight for the second last time. Moller tries to give them the slip, now eases off just a little bit. Moller from Chep Churcher, then back to Boxer, Pilling of England lying fourth, Hollick of Wales fifth, Locks just dropped off the pace a trifle. And a very intelligent tactics by Lorraine Moller of New Zealand. She's the girl with the stamina. She performed very, very well on a bronze medal in the 3,000 metres. And her job 
is to burn all the speed out of Christina Boxer, who's sitting on his shoulder in second place. Just over 500 to go, but she hasn't got away, certainly hasn't got away from Boxer. Perhaps she might wear her down a little bit, but it's Moller from Boxer. Then back to Chet Kircher. Killing of England lying fourth, moving past Chet Kircher, and Fitch of Canada now moving up on the outside. In fact, running into third position. They're about to get the bell in the final of the women's 1,500 metres. A very gutsy run by Moller, a much faster lap. The first, the second lap, 110, this one, 15, and the chips are down now. They're in the last lap. They've got 350 metres to run. Moller leads from Boxer, a bit of a gap appearing. Back to Dainty of England in third place. Lock of Wales lying fourth. They're into the back straight for the last time. Boxer Moller. beautifully poised on Moller's shoulder there. She's got that kick, and she's, there she goes. Boxer moves past Moller. Boxer in front, about 230 metres to go. Still four chances in the race, though. And Dainty of England starting to come out after her countrywoman, Boxer. But Boxer's given them the slip inside the 200 metres. Boxer kicks away to lead by 10 metres. Boxer from Dainty. Then back to Lock and Moller, who are struggling. Boxer surges into the straight, looking full of running. It looks like Christina Boxer's gold medal. She's got 80 metres to run, and she's 15 metres clear. This is a great performance. She won a semi-final yesterday in similar fashion. Christina Boxer of England. A very easy winner in the women's 1500 metres. Great performance for the gold. Daisy takes second, and a tiring Moller finished third.